Nitroprusside is a medication used to lower blood pressure. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover the important facts about nitroprusside, so you'll be ready come test day. Welcome to the local coffee shop, which prides itself on its famous nitro pressurized cold brew. You know how nitro coffee drinks are extremely popular these days because they go down so smoothly? Well, the keg of nitro pressurized brew in the foreground should serve as your memory anchor to nitroprusside. Now that we're anchored to this scene, let's learn about how nitroprusside is used in the clinical setting. We've clustered these symbols towards the bottom right corner of the scene. One of the guests at the coffee shop was enjoying his coffee when he suddenly passed out. Paramedics were called to deal with the situation, and as you can see, one of them has already opened the first aid kit and set up a blood pressure cuff to collect vitals. However, this paramedic was distracted by the sound of someone entering the shop and accidentally overinflated the cuff into the emergency zone, which has cut off circulation to the arm. Thinking quickly, the paramedic grabbed a knife from the table to stab the cuff and deflate it. You can see the dial now showing the pressure deflating from the emergency zone. Since the medical term for high blood pressure is hypertension, this blood pressure cuff in the high pressure emergency zone is our symbol for hypertensive emergency. So deflating this cuff represents how nitroprusside is used to treat hypertensive emergencies. Hypertensive emergency happens when very high blood pressures cause signs or symptoms of organ damage in the body. This is usually a concern when the systolic pressure rises above 180 or the diastolic pressure exceeds 120. Nitroprusside is normally given intravenously to quickly bring down the blood pressure in these patients in order to treat the hypertensive emergency. By the way, this deflating blood pressure cuff also serves as our symbol for how nitroprusside more generally lowers blood pressure. In addition to lowering blood pressure to treat hypertensive emergencies, nitroprusside may be used in a variety of clinical situations in which you need to lower blood pressure very quickly. Great, now that we've covered how nitroprusside is used, let's introduce the mechanisms behind how this drug actually works. To make these symbols easier to remember, we've clustered them towards the left side of this scene. Looking outside, you'll see a large number of old men on bicycles pulling up to the shop. You see, this coffee shop is the weekend meeting location for the local cycling grandpas, which go by the name, the Cycling Gramps. You could even say there is an increased amount of cycling gramps at your shop. The increased cycling gramps symbolizes how nitroprusside increases cyclic GMP. You know, cycling for the cyclic part and gramp for GMP. Cyclic GMP is a nucleotide that acts inside cells to cause a variety of downstream effects. Nitroprusside greatly increases the levels of cyclic GMP inside cells through mechanisms we'll talk about next. Since the barista was busy dealing with the medical emergency in the shop, he hadn't fully prepared the nitropressurized brew in time for these grandpas. These grandpas really love their nitropressurized cold brew and tip well when they get it. That's why the barista is rushing as quick as he can to connect this nitric oxide or NO gas canister used to pressurize the cold brew in the keg. In the barista's rush to get this thing connected, the spouts are spewing gas, releasing the nitric oxide as billowing fumes in the air. The release of nitric oxide gas should help you remember how nitroprusside functions to release nitric oxide in the body. After being administered intravenously, nitroprusside reacts with other substances found naturally in the walls of the blood vessels to directly cause the release of nitric oxide. The nitric oxide then goes on to stimulate enzymes responsible for producing the cyclic GMP we just talked about. You're probably wondering what all of this leads up to. Let's find out in our next symbol. To connect this gas canister to the keg, he has to connect tubing between the two. Notice that this nitric oxide canister has two spouts. One brings air in, while the other lets the nitric oxide gas out. These tubes are similar to blood vessels, which are responsible for bringing blood in and out of the heart, right? The barista is stretching these tubes wide so that they will slip over the spouts. You could even say the barista is dilating the tubes. 
The way he is dilating these vessel-like tubes should help you remember how nitroprusside dilates blood vessels. In other words, nitroprusside works as a vasodilator. The increase in cyclic GMP we talked about earlier initiates a downstream cascade that eventually tells the smooth muscle around our blood vessels to relax, causing vasodilation. This vasodilation ultimately causes a decrease in blood pressure. For an analogy behind how this works, think about how vasodilation is kind of like loosening your grip around a garden hose with water flowing inside of it. By relaxing your grip, the water inside the hose will come out with less force, kind of like how vasodilation reduces blood pressure. But recall, the horde of cycling gramps is about to pour into the cafe, so this barista needs to work fast. That's why he's trying to connect the two spouts for inflow and outflow at the same time. If you notice, the manufacturers have handily color-coded these tubes, with red for outflow and blue for inflow. So you might even say that he is dilating both the red and blue tubes equally to fit over the spouts. The equal dilating of the red and blue tubes should help you remember that nitroprusside equally dilates both arteries and veins. Since a red vessel-like tube reminds me of arteries and a blue one reminds me of veins. Nitroprusside is fairly unusual since most other vasodilators tend to preferentially dilate either the arteries or the veins. Nitroprusside is one of the only drugs that has a balanced dilating effect on both arteries and veins. Next, if you look up at the bar counter, you'll notice how the barista has also set out his handy short 10-minute timer. If you've ever had a nitro-pressurized drink like a cold brew or Guinness, then you might know that these drinks need a few minutes to sit and settle after they are poured. You know, for the bubbles to rise up and provide that smooth mouthfeel that people love. To keep track of this setting time, the barista uses this short 10-minute timer. This short 10-minute timer should help you remember how nitroprusside is short-acting, since its effects on the body usually last less than 10 minutes. This happens because nitroprusside is broken down very quickly once it enters the body. What's more, due to side effects that we'll talk about later, nitroprusside is also typically administered for a short period, usually less than 10 minutes. In summary, nitroprusside's role is a quick in and out drug that works to lower blood pressure. This means that for most purposes, you'll see it used only in acute settings in the hospital and not as a chronic drug that patients take home. Great, now that we've covered the mechanisms behind how nitroprusside works, let's talk about one important side effect you need to remember. We've drawn this symbol near the top right corner of this scene. Looking inside this cabinet towards the back, we can see why this customer passed out. It seems that this guy was the victim of cyanide poisoning. Going back in time, it turns out that this man is a big figure in the Italian mafia. And as you might know, these Italians are quite fond of their coffee. While he wasn't paying attention, someone must have poisoned his coffee, and after one sip, he passed out. The poison was a bottle of cyanide, which the perpetrator left hidden in this back counter. This cyanide poison is our symbol for cyanide toxicity, a side effect seen when high doses of nitroprusside are administered. When nitroprusside is metabolized and broken down, it releases the toxic compound cyanide. This side effect puts a limit on the maximum amount of drug we can safely administer. If we give too much nitroprusside, the risk of cyanide toxicity begins to outweigh the benefits of lowering blood pressure. And that's why we only administer nitroprusside for short periods of time of less than 10 minutes. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Nitroprusside is a medication primarily used to treat hypertensive emergencies by lowering blood pressure. Mechanistically, nitroprusside increases cyclic GMP through the release of nitric oxide in blood vessels, which eventually causes vasodilation. Notably, nitroprusside causes nearly equal dilation of both arteries and veins. The drug is short-acting, with effects on the body usually lasting less than 10 minutes. At high doses, nitroprusside can cause the side effect of cyanide toxicity. And now we're actually done with nitroprusside. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow.
I'll see you next time.